for this beanie, we're going to be using the Butterfly Knits Chunky in the shade, um, I actually don't know where you find the shade on this thing, but I'm pretty sure we can just say this is like a lavender color. Yeah, and I'm going to be using my 4.5mm hook. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I got this in Limby in Wool Shop. And there's so many shades, but for for my theme, I'm going to go with the lavender. And I got the hook from China. <laughs> so to begin, um, I'm going to do a slip stitch and chain. Um, any length that you want from top to bottom so Right. It'll be like this project you're gonna work it from top to bottom so it's going to be like this going this way so from here I'm going to chain up two and then I'm going to skip these first two and I'm going to do a half double crochet in the third stitch so to do a half double crochet you um, yarn over then in that first the top part of the chain gonna pull through that other yarn and then pull through all three at once again you're gonna yarn over so yeah this is gonna count as one this is the second one, this is the third one. So we're going to yarn over, pull out the loop, pull through all of them. So this is a half double crochet. So I'm going to do that and then come back to you when I'm done with this chain. But I have the half double crochets. So the last stitch was here. So what we're going to do from here is now chain one, two, and then you turn your work like so so now you're gonna be working the back posts only so you're gonna chain one and I'm still gonna work in this first one here after the chain so gonna wait, focus my hook there and then do a half double crochet like so and over insert the hook pull through two loops so like I said I'm gonna be working the back posts so on the top of your your work you should be able to see that there's this one and then there's this one so I'm gonna yarn over back post pull up the loop pull through two so you get this sort of ribbed effect here so I'm gonna do that for the whole row so we're gonna do the last bits together I have one two three left and the chain up that we had from the beginning so one double crochet half double crochet half double crochet and then for the last bit as well the chain part I'm gonna just do it in the back post like so and then pull that up and complete it so this is the row two the row, gonna turn our work then we're gonna still do the first half double crochet in the very very first um, back post that we have so the whole item the whole item we're going to be working it in the back post like so if you still don't understand it you can start the video over and then you know just try to get the gist of it like I said um watch the whole video before you start making your items so that you get it you get the idea of what you're gonna have to do to, to achieve the beanie item thingy thingy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see? I swear I didn't touch your truck. I swear to God, you are dead. I swear to God, you are dead. Oh, 
So this is the 38th and final roll. I finished one ball. I am on the next. Um, we are going to fold it like so and slip stitch our way through, our way across the um, perimeter of this thingy, of the beanie rectangle. So I folded it in half. So where is the string? Oh. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to continue like with the same string because that way you you kind of like make it stronger in some way so yeah i slip stitch into this side so you slip stitch one side to the other like that one side to the other just like that it's called a slip stitch because it's not really going to increase the level or length of the beanie so yeah, <laughs> that's my logic on it. It's my two cents. So, in and out, pull through. In and out, pull through. Oh guys, I'm watching Scream on Netflix. Comment down below if you like it or if you have any movie suggestions, series suggestions because I'm running out of things to watch. Because honestly right now I'm thinking Scream is just another spin-off of Pretty Little Liars. So I slip stitch, I slip stitch the, uh, the top part of the beanie. Like we're going from here to here. So now we're going to make the part that's like the beanie so it's like you could easily <laughs> dance here you can easily um slip stitch through it but i want to have that wrinkled effect so this is how i do it like there's so many methods better methods but then i just choose to do it like this i fold it in the other half and then i slip stitch like so then i fold this side into half as well and then I slip stitch there and then the same with the other side and then I slip stitch sorry didn't get that on camera so the other the other side is like here so you like fold it in half and then slip stitch through through that as well so that like brought the pieces together like so sorry i keep focusing on the image that's here and not on the camera so yeah um now here i just um slip stitch through each through each um i guess each side of the cross that it looks like a cross so we're just gonna seal this part off. You can sew it if you want. This this can also be done by sewing. I'm not a fan of sewing, so yeah. So at this side, at this thingy, when you finish one, you can just move into the middle, cause that just like brings it in together very nicely. Mm -hmm. I need to get used to making tutorials, cause this is hard. And then gonna bring it back into the center slip stitch you know you should really pull the the yarn gambiri <laughs> so that like you don't lose it anywhere and you know make sure you get all the spaces done so that you know nothing is poking out no gaps nothing so this is the last leaf the last corner sorry and yeah, you start in the middle, and then so yeah, this is the beanie. So if you turn it inside out and then fold it, like this section, 
you are pretty much done with the beanie so please like comment and subscribe send me pictures of how you did with this tutorial if you found it helpful if you were able to understand and make your own angry